I want to welcome everyone here to the left-hand coast, for those of you who are flying in from the east. Uh, the Assistant Secretary and I were chatting earlier uh, and talking about um, the challenge sometimes of getting out of Washington and going to faraway places like California. Um, but of course, he was preceded, I guess, just last week by the Secretary, uh, who also traveled out here to talk about important issues. Uh, but I especially want to welcome the Assistant Secretary to join us. Um, but before I uh, formally introduce him, and I have about 45 pages that I want to go through, uh, but before doing that, I want to say something about the, uh, the uh, speech, this wonderful occasion, the Herbert G. Klein Lecture, and describe that very briefly. This is the latest example, really, of a number of things that uh, Clay and our colleagues here at USC are able to do through the US-China Institute and the Annenberg School for Communication and Journalism. As you know, we firmly believe that Americans need to know much more about what is happening in China in the same way that the Chinese need to know more about what is happening um, here in the United States. So one of the things that we have done um, here with, at the Institute and the Edinburgh School is to partner with Chinese organizations, uh, including Beijing University, to develop strategies to lessen the mistrust between our two nations. And the report on that is on our website. I urge you to take a look at that. We presented our report in several US cities and in China and have created the go-to online database about US-China exchanges, uh, believing that NGO relationships, that uh, second track relationships are enormously important. We're also working with the China Development Research Foundation and China State Council to improve strategic communication uh, in China. We were privileged in October to uh, have a three-day session with approximately 20 vice ministers of the Chinese government, a number of heads of state-owned enterprise in an effort uh, to share our views about strategic communication um, with our colleagues there. We also worked with a number of other Chinese universities and last year started a new research and training pro uh, program with Shanghai's Jiaotong University on cultural uh, industry. We're working very closely with them. And all across the university, there is a great deal of attention to China. Many of the, of the scholars and uh, teachers and professors who uh, are involved in those programs, as Clay said, will be speaking to you earlier, uh, later on today. But first, we have the honor, the great honor of welcoming Daniel Russell, America's top diplomat on China and the rest of Asia, to speak. Assistant Secretary Russell is giving the 2016 Herbert Klein Lecture, which remembers one of USC's greatest alumni and leaders. Klein studied journalism at USC and got his first job working on the local Alhambra paper before leading several major uh, media uh, organizations here, Metro Media and Copley newspapers. As a cub reporter in 1946, he met uh, a gentleman by the name of Richard Nixon, who subsequently hired him. He then worked as the communication director uh, for the White House um, and was instrumental in explaining uh, the outreach to China that emerged from that administration. Herb Klein wasn't just a distinguished alum. He was a devoted Trojan and a life trustee of this university up to his death in 2009. And Fortunately, he was able to uh, attend the first Klein lecture uh, before his passing when he was able to hear two ambassadors uh, to China, uh, Steve Roy and Clark Grant, who gave the inaugural Klein lectures. The Klein lecture is intended to promote the engagement to involve the public in discussions of national policy. And today's lecture will do just that. Daniel Russell will be speaking about America's relationship with China. He'll note areas where the relationship has improved. I'm looking forward to seeing that part of it. 
um, and also those areas where problems still persist. The Assistant Secretary is especially well qualified. It's, it's an amazing uh, experience that he, he brings to the podium today. Um, for the past seven years, he served at the top of the Obama administration as it has sought to work with China. Assistant Secretary Russell is a career diplomat, entering the Foreign Service after, after having first been a manager in a Japanese firm for six years. At the time, he concluded that if America was going to protect uh, its interest, then America had to learn more about the world. And he went into the Foreign Service. Much of that time, uh, Daniel Russell was based in East Asia, but he's also worked at the UN and posts in Washington, D.C. as well. In 2009, President Obama appointed uh, Mr. Russell to work on the National Security Council, where he initially focused on Japan and the Korean Peninsula. He served with Jeff Bader, who is here with us today, uh, and who will also be speaking uh, from this podium. In 2011, Russell became the NSC Senior Director for Asia, which meant he stopped sleeping for about three or four years, I suspect. More than that, right? Um, and then in uh, 2013, the President named Daniel Russell Assistant Secretary of State for East Asia and Pacific Affairs. So for the past seven years, Mr. Russell has been involved in developing and implementing American policies for China and the rest of Asia. Few people have as full a sense of the many different realms of U.S.-China interactions as the Assistant Secretary. We are very fortunate to have him with us today to give us a sense of where U.S.-China relations are heading. And with that, please welcome Assistant Secretary Daniel Russell. Thank you.